Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at the installation and a quick look at the Android 14 on our Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So, without wasting more time, let's take a look. So, guys, this is the Lineage OS 21, which is based on Android 14. And uh, as you can see, uh, moving to our device, Android version. As you can see, Android 14, Lineage OS version. And this is the 16 February build which also comes with the latest February security update. So this is also really nice as you can see. Moving in here, this is the Easter egg for Android 14. And when you long press this, the stars will begin to shoot upwards. And yeah, something like this will appear the screen. I don't know this, maybe some technical stuff, only some engineers or maybe some software guys would understand. I do not, I mean, I love Android, but I don't understand all this. And I did not take an in-depth look about this, but yeah, you can let me know in the comment section what this is. Or is this some, some sort of a game where we have to find something because as you can see a boy is zero out of nine. So yeah, I, I really don't know. Let me know guys in the comment section. So guys, this new Android 14 based lineage OS 21 comes with this new boot animation, which looks really nice. And if your device has an AMOLED screen, then this is totally top notch. Like, you know, Samsung devices, it will look really brilliant as you can see it has been replaced the boot animation so this is also really nice so guys in also the android uh, 14 version of the lineages we get all the lineage OS basic settings so let's see going into notifications here we have all the notification settings and as you can see or enhanced notifications everything battery and here we have battery light fast charging now let's go into display and as you can see uh, just the basic stuff and the live display by lineage OS is present you can change the color profile display mode and you can also enable anti-flicker like if i enable anti-flicker and if i uh, increase the display brightness now while recording the uh, flickering will stop as you can see it has stopped by a bit but yeah it's still uh, it's because of the camera so yeah but that flickering will be gone so if you face flickering in your s7 then that's the right way to fix it like you can just enable it uh it's not that much visible but yeah then reading mode color calibration if you want if you have some problem with your weaving then you can just change it accordingly that's a really nice feature double tap to wake and tap to sleep is there and we also have that's uh, sensitivity then advanced display we have the senior view mode and you can just uh, configure according to what activity you are doing accessibility mode also inverted color blind and if you choose gray this whole display will turn into gray or if you choose uh, gray inverted then as you can see it will turn into inverted display you also have color blind for color blind people so this is really nice which lineages has taken it integrated into the system which i really loved it so that's great for some more settings you have to scroll down into system and here as you can see buttons and you can enable on screen nav bar if you like the uh, now perform lollipop and lollipop or you can also use the hardware case where the backlight also works so if you are using it in a uh, totally dark uh, uh, night then yep you can easily just uh, choose to yeah, illuminate those buttons and also the home button works fine so that's really nice as you can see also double tap to wake which works and double tap to sleep you know you can touch the status bar to sleep and also the lock screen but i guess not the home screen so let's see if there is any setting in here like we have just uh, skipped some stuff yeah there's no setting here to lock it from the home screen so it won't work like that but yeah that was not the i just saw here double tap so i just just wanted to show also wake device from home button is working Volume buttons, you can also use volume buttons to wake the device if the home is broken. Like the home button, not your home. Show panel on left as our left uh, volume panel. Then status bar, and you can configure status bar stuff, network traffic monitor, system icons. You can also enable low priority icons. Then here, as you can see, clock position. Found it to put in the center as we do not have a uh, small status bar or filled with the cameras and all stuff notch so yeah you can also enable the battery uh, percentage which i have disabled for now and auto brightness uh, option is also here so yeah you can just enable that in the quick settings as you can see 
let's press this and your device will be automated so yeah let's disable or it will cause problems yep so that is it for all the settings present in the lineage os which are also uh, including some device specific settings so that's really nice also guys the camera uh, we get the snap camera lineage os snap camera as you can see we saw this in the previous versions too but if you want some more advanced camera you can go for the gcam you cannot use samsung camera on any asp rom it is lineage os or any other rom but yeah you can use gcam so that's it also guys as this is the official lineage os you get ot updater support i hope this is official lineage os or even if this it is not official lineage os you get ot support from the developer so you just have to click here and check if there are any new updates and if there are new updates you will get it here and you can easily download and install it with ease without even booting uh, manually into the recovery and doing all the stuff so yep that is it if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button now those who want to uh, move towards the installation they can just uh, go through the video or else you guys can skip the video to the last part like if you want to watch the last part like there's nothing in the last part like if you just want to take a glance at if it really does show and i don't fuck up so yeah that is it let's move towards the installation now so guys to download the lineage os there is a link in the description and you can go through that in the xda page now if you want the direct links the direct links have uh, like in the xda page also there is a link to download it's the same link which i'm going to use so yeah you can use that from the page itself so there are multiple devices and you have to choose your right device like s7 or s7 edge so yeah just just read the device name and install because whatever the devices the developer supports all are in the list so you have to carefully choose or else you will face some zip corrupt issues or device unsupported issues so that should not happen now let's proceed and move into uh, boot into tdrp recovery press the volume up home and power button to boot your device into tdrp now guys you have to copy all the files the lineage os and if you want a g apps you also have to copy the g apps into it let me increase the brightness a bit yeah this is fine first you have to go to wipe and this will not wipe your internal storage but it will wipe all of your apps so you have to be careful no matter what uh, custom rom you are coming from but if you are coming from stock then you have to wipe your internal storage as well go to install down as you can see uh, this is a lineage os 16.5 build and this is a nick g apps uh, omni which i am using because i had to get some stuff uh, reinstalled so yeah i am using omni package you can also use the uh, micro package the mini package or i don't know if it's called the mini or pico package i don't know if it's called but you can go and just to go and download a basic package whatever is available i think it's called the basic so yeah you can download that and install it if and if you do not want that I don't know if this ROM supports micro G, but yeah, you can just go to the XD and check if it supports. If it does, then good luck. You can use it without uh, GMS services too. So yeah, just uh, use this Lineage OS. Uh, add more zips, Nick G apps. And guys, if you want to add a like, you can, if you want to use G apps, you have to use it uh, right now. Like you have to install it right now after the ROM, and do not boot it and then come back. Then you will have to wipe the data and all that stuff again. So just uh, if you are using G apps, uh, this is the method. And if you want to use Micro G, uh, you have to go to the XTA and check if it supports Micro G from other users as well. Or maybe the developer will answer if he's really online. So yeah, let's skip this part. As you can see, both the Linux and G apps have been installed successfully. Reboot system, and wait for a few minutes before it boots and set up and enjoy your. Android 14 on your Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So that is it. Uh, I will wait till the Lineage OS boot animation and here it has showed up. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like the video. If you do, then please press the like button. If not, the dislike button is here. And also, you can subscribe here. The red button, subscribe button is here. Yep, subscribe, please. Yeah. Also, if you want to post any feedback, it's down below in the comment section. I mean, you can post it down below in the comment section. And that's it. For more videos for the S7 and S7 Edge, subscribe. Bye bye.